Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss, and I'm here to help you navigate the cesspool that is middle-aged dating. And today I want to talk about spontaneity. Not exactly my strong suit. Uh, sometimes you'll see profiles online and the, guy, the man will say, I'm looking for a woman who's spontaneous or, you know, more pushily, I want, you know, you must be spontaneous. That can be good or that can be bad. Now, when I started dating, I had to learn to be more spontaneous. Um, I have set days for exercise, hiking, uh, housework, and then there's my, was my all salad diet at the time. And anything that came up to interfere with that was not a good thing. And yes, I am a control freak. So I had to learn to accept spontaneity as, as a good thing about dating. In fact, if I hadn't uh, tried to be more spontaneous, I would never have met my current partner. And that happened because I got a call on a Sunday evening. Uh, the next day was Monday, Memorial Day. And uh, this guy I'd met once for tea I thought was pretty nice. Uh, calls and says, hey, you know, uh, I have Monday off, which is a rarity. He was a realtor. And I'm going to go drive through my favorite places in Marin. I'm going to stop at my favorite restaurants. He said, I have an old convertible. I'm just going to go for a day long drive. And if you'd like to come, that'd be great. And then he added, and, you know, if you don't, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to go by myself, so don't worry. And I thought about it and I looked at my plans, um, you know, yet another eight mile hike. Um, and it was, it was the day that I usually change the sheets, I think, and sort the sock drawer. But I just decided to, to go with him. And we had a fabulous 12 hour date and we've been together ever since. So spontaneity did help me. But you have to be careful because spontaneity can also be a sword. It's particularly obvious, I think, when you see it in profiles that say, I want a woman who's spontaneous and up for anything. You have not yet met the schmuck. You do not know what anything means. It is a poor thing to use in a vague document. A woman who is up for anything. I mean, that can mean anything. Now, spontaneous can mean I'm fun. It can also mean I am hugely disorganized and incapable of planning anything. Up for anything can mean I like to take my private jet to my villa in Gestad, or I need a woman who's down to fuck on short notice. I will only call you when my loins are needy. This is not appealing. So you really have to be careful. And I always say this, if the guy's asking for dates that are late or not late at night, or, hey, come to my house and chillax, these are bad offers. You don't want them. Do not fall for the sort of spontaneity. So in conclusion, watch for guys who say in their profiles they need a woman who's spontaneous because it can be a red flag. But at the same time, be open to things that seem fun. As we used to say in law school, whenever you, you get asked a question about anything, the answer was, it depends. And unfortunately, in this case, it depends. See how the guy actually wields spontaneity. If it's repeated last minute, offers, poor planning, back off. You don't need him. But also be open to amazing times because that can actually be one of the fun parts of dating. I'm Debbie Weiss. I hope this helped. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.